Hello and welcome to this tutorial where we will learn how to create template driven forms in Angular. Whether you are new to Angular or looking to brush up on your skills, this guide will take you through every step necessary to create a dynamic user friendly form. First, let's understand what a template driven form is. In Angular, a template driven form is a simpler and less verbose approach to creating forms compared to reactive forms it's ideal for simpler scenarios and uses two-way data binding to update the model as changes are made in the form fields before we start make sure you have angular cli installed if not then install it using command npm install uh, let me show you how to install it quickly so use this command npm install minus g for global and add angular slash cli this would install the angular cli globally in your computer once it is done you may proceed let's start by creating a new angular project so in your terminal type this command ng new my form app so replace my form app with your desired project name whatever you are going to use i already have created my angular project i will use that this is my project that is currently open in my editor and it is currently running in the browser once your project is set up, navigate to the app components HTML file and here we will define our form. So let's start by adding the form tag. Inside this form tag, we will add our input elements. For this example, let's create a simple registration form with a name, email and password fields. So make sure to import forms module in your app component file to use ng model here just add forms module make sure to import it from angular slash forms and also make sure to define this user object in your component it is not compulsory to have an object so let's add it in this way add other fields name password and email let's copy paste this and add multiple fields Let me bring it in the middle. All right, let me add the submit button now. Let's add a on submit event. We will call the on submit function that we will define now here. And we will console or alert whatever you prefer and in your real world use case you will be using this user object to send data to the backend with the help of maybe services so let's give it a try open the inspect element and console it and let's see what we get hit submit and you can see we have name email and password other than that you can also watch the changes in the json in real time in the html as well just for debugging purpose so here you can add user pipe it through json pipe and now whenever you will be typing it will be updating the json in real time so this is also very helpful but if you want to add a validation you can create that as well that is also very simple and straightforward so for example here you can add ng if as we are using the angular 17 so you can use this ng if as well new syntax for if here you can check if user dot email if it is not found then simply show this error okay you can see that if you make it empty then it will show the error message so you can play around with that and make different kind of errors if you want to and that's it you know now how to create a template driven form in angular experiment with different types of form controls and validation to enhance your forms so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials like this